of the COVID testing and treatment programs that North Carolinians have come to rely on are coming to an end this year. WRL's Matt Talhelm talked with the state secretary of health and human services about these changes. Matt, what are we talking about here? Michelle, the Department of Health and Human Services here used some of that federal funding to hire outside vendors to staff up and run a lot of these COVID programs throughout the pandemic. Well, that money is running out. The state has already started to wind down some of those free vaccination events run by those vendors and testing events run by those vendors will end by the end of March, if not sooner. The days of these drive through COVID vaccine clinics and traffic jams for testing are winding down to this. Now we're going to check in a patient. A table to check in patients for vaccine appointments at a health department. We're not serving thousands every day, but we are seeing at least 30 plus people a day here on average. Johnston County Public Health is now only open for walk-in COVID vaccinations one day a week. Other days, it's by appointment only. Pandemic surge staffing is down to just four nurses here, and they're done by the end of February. There was a time that we had 12, 13 nurses here, um, and as the needs drop, those nurses return to uh, more permanent assignments. Changes like this are coming to communities across the state as federal funding that paid contractors to run no-cost COVID testing and vaccine events runs out. For most North Carolinians, they'll be accessing uh, COVID resources as they would for any other disease. They're going to go to their doctor, they're going to go to their pharmacy um, to get testing and to get treatment. Health and Human Services Secretary Cody Kinsley says the winding down of these programs will put a strain on local health departments, especially since the state has not expanded Medicaid. But what it's going to mean for over a million people in North Carolina that don't have health insurance is it's going to get tougher and tougher. And Secretary Kinsley tells me this is part of a shift to business as normal when it comes to this kind of pandemic that's still going on, obviously. Wake County, I reached out to the Wake County Public Health to find out if there would be any changes to some of the programs that the county runs. They tell me that they still have federal funding to staff all of the COVID response programs and that the vaccination clinics that are five days a week at multiple locations will continue at least through February. All right, Matt Talhelm reporting live for us. Thanks, Matt.